During my last video, I showed you how charging an AV like this Chevrolet Bolt that we bought recently can provide a path up a level one charging cord for ants to get onto the car. It looked pretty dramatic, like the electricity was attracting the ants. And also showed how you can put the cord in a bucket of soapy water like this and that'll provide a block to the ants getting onto the car. But uh, in my long and now extinguished career, I found that my preconceived ideas about what's going on is not always the actual case, what's really happening. So I did a few other experiments. I'm going to share those with you now. Hope you enjoy them, and thanks for watching. We appreciate it. If you got a garage with a uh, level one cord inside a garage where you can keep it off the ground, you're not going to have problem of ants, most likely. We don't have that luxury. Our parking area is about 50 feet from the house, so we have to use a heavy-duty extension cord. It causes problems for us with ants. This is where the cord is going. I've got our level one chair. This is the level one system that came with the car. Um, I've got it plugged into a 30 amp cord, even though we're only drawing about 12 amps. But I just keep this covered up to um, Keep the weather off of it. Can you see an ant on that cord? You can see there's one there, there. Oh yeah. Ants all over this thing. They're definitely coming up the cord. A little hard to focus on that cord. They're coming and going. Look, look at this one. Everyone goes, one's going down. They're coming and going. Fascinating. Okay, I fully charged this bolt yesterday on a level two charger we have down in our metal building. And, but I purposely plugged in this, this, char this charging cord without it being plugged into the power just to see if any ants would come up this cord without it having, being charging the car. No electricity on the cord. There are ants on the cord. There's another one down there. A little hard to see. There's a couple there. They're there, so they're coming up the cord with no power on it. Interesting. So, I would say I've got to use my soapy bucket or spread a bunch of insecticide around. I kind of like the idea of the soapy water I mean, relatively harmless way to do this. But, uh, yeah, no electric power on the cord, and they're still coming up the cord going up to the car. Must be something else they like about it. To see how much just simply the cord with no electricity going through it because it's not plugged in um, and this is just an old 2007 Ford Focus obviously not electric I just got the cord this level one charging cord draped over the mirror and this is set here overnight and you can see there's ants all over it so ants naturally forage and are looking for stuff and uh, and they're all over the car so that may be the more important factor is simply a cord providing a path to someplace different rather than the electricity going through it. It's kind of looking like that now. See, they're, they're, they've crawled all over the car. And here the bolt was parked out overnight, no cord. No ants, so we'll continue looking at this, but it's looking like it's mainly just the cord providing a path up to the car. All right, we put just this yellow extension cord, pretty heavy duty cords, not plugged in, and uh, we'll see if ants come up it. It's going through the same place on the ground is the uh, level one charger. So we'll see what happens. Just to verify, this cord is not plugged in. But you 
can see ants on the cord. Look at this. I believe this is the worst of all. Must be something about it being yellow. No electricity, no nothing. Just simply a path to get up on the car. This is amazing. I hope I'm gonna have to stop this before I get inside. See how they're they actually are coming and going on that cord. You'll notice the ants give each other a high five as they're passing each other on the way up and the way down. I guess they're passing chemical pheromones. Be my guess. I'm not an entomologist, but it kind of looks that way. There is no doubt running this uh, charging cord through that soapy water keeps ants from going up the cord, whether it's turned on or not. Uh, I've got to look at see if there's some better ways of uh, keeping the ants off the cord than having to use this soapy water. I don't think it's a major safety hazard, but uh, there may be uh, a safer way to do this. We'll have to see. So just be careful if you try something like this. But it does seem to work. Well, ants simply foraging going up a cord with no electricity on it. It's not near as interesting as ants being attracted to electricity on a while charging a EV. However, I thought this was interesting to, to see this. And I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. If you did, please like the video and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you.